let's say you put up your own travel agency, right? And people are asking you about Hokkaido. What would be the top three things that you want them to experience when they visit? Top three things in Hokkaido, you got to feel the snow. Um, they got that powdery snow that everyone loves uh, for snowboarding. Um, they got the best sushi. Like the fish just tastes different than anywhere else. Um, I guess you could watch a Lavanga Hokkaido basketball game. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Cities are very different. Hokkaido is a big city, but it has like nice scenery. They got the beach, mountains, nice city. So they got the best food in Japan. They got everything there. The teams, it's about similar, just like a wins and losses, but facilities wise, I would say Hokkaido has also got more. Offers came after the South Korea games. Up until then, I was already, I was still focused on just going to Ateneo and stuff. But I was getting discouraged. Like, pandemic started 2019. Those those games are 2021. That was two years. I didn't even go inside of Ateneo. Like, I was just running around in the garage. Luckily, got to play for Gilas. If not for Gilas, I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> would have went crazy there. So yeah, all the offers came in, and then. I didn't know when the UAP was going to start, so I just made that choice to go. Talk to me about Toyama and how you made the decision, okay. That was the only B-League offer I got that year. So I just took what I got and that was around the same time the other Filipinos were going too, so I thought it was like, well, I'll go also. And it was a lot of games, I was excited for that. In Japan, somewhere I'd never been, so I was excited to go to Japan and then yeah, I just couldn't turn it down. Well, my first game was against Ray, but um, most memorable is probably, I guess I would say the same one against Ray, that first game, like I was I was nervous from like my first game professional. Why do I gotta play against Ray? This team's so good, I'm like, why can't I just play against a team that's a little bit worse? So yeah, that's my first game and they blew us out by about 25, something like that. I always thought like, Whoever wins got the bragging rights. So, I mean, sometimes there's nothing you can do that the other team's just better, but you just try your best, play, and I always felt like playing against the Filipinos gave it a little more extra motivation. The hardest part is being away for the whole year and you're just pretty much by yourself. Especially that first year was still like COVID. So you couldn't even have visitors fly in. So once you came in there for work, like it was just you. So I was just there the whole year by myself. And I just like, the hardest part is when you're not winning games and you're by yourself, you go home, you gotta cook your own meal. And then you gotta do it over the next day. So it was like, and you're not winning. So you just think like, man, I wish I could go home already. I forgot where I heard this story, but I want to confirm it. Is it true that Dwight Ramos visited groceries late in Toyama so that you could get them with a discounted price? <laughs> that was right. Every, 
every grocery store in Japan does that, I think. But that's where I found out is in Toyama. I would go there late. I'm like, oh, they got stickers on there that's like 10%, 25%. And so I can get all the food on discount. Just try to stay focused on basketball. I was thinking like, oh, well, I, I made it happen in the pandemic in the Philippines. It's pretty much the same thing here. And I knew already when I was going to go home. So I was like, I just got to make it through, try and do the best I can until then. It's my first year. I'm still learning. And then it's going to get better next year. Difference in style of play. And of course, the language barrier. Mm -hmm. What was it like? Just, I mean, I was jumping to professional from Basically high school, I didn't play college at all. US, Philippines, they didn't play in the college. So I basically jumped almost from high school to professional and then it was kind of hard, but I always been able to adapt pretty easily. So I made it happen. What about during games? Like, did you have like a translator with you and there would be timeouts? How did you communicate with teammates? There's a translator as soon as like the coach talks or like one of my teammates talks, the translator's saying the same thing, but in English. For sure, it changed my perspective. Before I started moving everywhere, I was just thinking America is the best place in the world. But then I come to the Philippines and like, I get to enjoy other things. Um, different, it's a different culture, different atmosphere, different food, even trying to enjoy the traffic sometimes. Um, and then in Japan, you, there's just a whole different culture. So it's like, I come to appreciate different cultures and different people, wherever they come from, you kind of like appreciate that also. Just play a couple years and have fun and then live a nice life. I really think if I, if I wanted to play in the NFL, I could have done it. Yeah, I got inspired by, uh, being bored.